No, we really do thank you for coming out tonight. We know Thursday night's kind of a rough night to, to start off anything again, especially in this area with all the gridlock and whatnot. With LPAC, we get a lot of questions from people. We send out, I mean, I'm sure you guys got them, multiple, multiple emails to people reminding everybody of LPAC. Two days later, have you, have you signed up for LPAC yet? Two days later, LPAC, really, it's coming. We send these things out, and we get questions like, why, why another thing? I'm because just going to go hear another speaker. I'm just going to go show up to another conference. We believe what really sets this conference apart is a lot more than just hearing people you know, speak on different topics today, which we're certainly going to do. It's about showing that folks like us, that average everyday people who are just sick and tired and fed up to the federal government, can really make a difference and can really change things. And we're trying to tell people that's sort of one reason why we push the training so much that we do with it. Because when you hear about those issues, it's one thing to just be, to be aggravated. It's like, okay, I'm angry, I'm really angry. And I'm sure you've all been there before too. We hear about something happening, we step back to the TV and just shout. Or we see debates, and we see certain things happen in debates, and you just shout. It's like the whole world is stacked against me. There's no way that I can do this. It's like, and the answers are so common sense. They're so simple. And at the end of the day, you have all these politicians get up there and talk about complex budget plans, they talk about like, well, here's how we're going to solve the healthcare problem in 40 years with you know all these different things. <laughs> and really, the answer is people just want to be free. Just leave us alone. Yeah. There's some great songs out about that actually. Um, singers growing up in the 70s and the 80s and all talking about all the dangerous things they did as kids, and they somehow managed to survive to the present day. <laughs> Freedom does bring risk, but people inside innately want to be free. And that's what we do with LPAC. We promote the idea that it's more than just, you know, coming up with another white paper on something. It's actually getting people out there, getting people involved. And you know what? It's this tonight, a Thursday night, a little bit after 5 o'clock, but a Thursday night when people who are, you know, working in D.C., and that's one thing I say about the traffic. We wouldn't have traffic problems if we didn't have so many federal workers. So we <laughs> I put up with this all the time, and it's just we need a 10 year you know, plan to fix the highways. No, close the IRS and you know, get rid of the <laughs> But it's about making a difference, and this is the kind of thing that terrifies the establishment because you know what? They've done their best to you. We hear complaints from people, we ask people to take action on things like the Fed. We hear complaints like, well, I call and I call, they send me a form letter, or they just hang up the phone, or they just say, thanks for your call, and they throw the note in the trash. Folks, that's what they want you to get discouraged about. That's what they want you to get upset about. When different parties throw all sorts of kind of different tactics in there, that's what they want to do is discourage you. But people who come out to things like this are showing that they refuse to be discouraged, they refuse to give up, and we're going to fight back to Now, as you might have heard uh, this past summer, one of the Campaign for Liberty's absolute biggest successes, and we've only been around four years, one of our biggest successes is getting the audit, the Fed bill through the U.S. House by the <laughs> And people like to say, you know, well, that's just a show vote. They're just being nice to Ron Paul because he's getting out of Congress. No, that's because people refused to stop when they called up and the people hung up on them or threw that note in the trash. They refused to stop. They remind them every day. They're calling state legislatures, you know, and oftentimes they call them at their houses, urging them to stand up for out of the Fed in their own states. They refuse to give up. These people work in D.C. and they do all these things here for people. Then they go home to their town halls where they think they can escape us and they think they can get away. And there's people out there in the crowd. Well, what do you think about out of the Fed? What do you think about this fiscal issue? What do you think about the NDAA? All things they don't want people to know about, they don't want people to hear about, yet we're cornering them with them everywhere. And to yeah. me, that's awesome. Now, we've heard since Out of the Fed passed the House, well, that's great. You know, gee, gee golly willikers, guys, you passed Out of the Fed through the House. You know what? Harry Reid's not going to bring it up in the Senate. It's got nowhere to go in the Senate. It's absolutely dead. Uh, that's right. Boo. That's right. You know, the people who are saying that, the exact same people, are the ones who are saying, if we spend another $2 trillion, we'll all be free and happy and prosperous forever and we can get out of this. That's their logic. That's their idea of common sense. Those are the people telling us we can't pass on the Fed through the Senate. You think they're right? No! no. Now, it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill climb. 
But how about keeping Harry Reid's phone ringing off the hook every single day? So here at OPEC, you'll hear more about issues like out of the Fed. You'll hear about issues all across the spectrum from a wide variety of speakers. Now, not every speaker here is going to exactly line up philosophically with everything we believe in or everything we do. Because no two people are alike, no matter you know, who we subscribe to, who we follow, each has their own set of beliefs. Okay? So no two people are alike. And you're going to hear, again, from a wide people all across the spectrum of people. But the point is, these people come together on key issues and key points. Going back to what I said earlier, we just want to be free. Just leave us alone. And we can work together on a lot of these issues that they're going to be talking about and they're going to be addressing. But along with that, and I hope you'll make it for our Saturday training, we're going to give you the tools to fight back. The tools to not only harass federal legislators, but the tools <laughs> as well to harass state legislators. Because you know what? These people make our lives miserable. So why not give a little back? So our goal is when you leave this conference, no more with the victim card. No more with the, well, I can't fight back. I can't do anything against the establishment. You're going to leave this conference knowing that it's the establishment that's going to have to blink the next time you look up in the eye because you're going to know exactly what to do to fight back and exactly what to do to win. Our first speaker, I promise I'll get her on, so bothering on here. Our first speaker is Donna Holt. She's the executive director of Virginia Campaign for Liberty. One of those examples of someone who you know, thought the odds were stacked high, but decided, you know what, I can do something. If I just get involved, I just learn more, I can do something. She led a movement, as your program says here, of more than 30,000 activists to pass the Virginia Health Care Freedom Act in 2010. Virginia was the first state in the nation to say that Obamacare mandate is not going to do it. You know, maybe talk to Donna a little bit throughout the weekend about what it's like to build that local movement. If you're in Virginia, talk to her about getting involved, and she'll make sure that you're set to go with Virginia Campaign for Liberty. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me now in welcoming Donna Holt.